Hey everyone, welcome back to another game. Okay, we're playing as Black today. Going up against E4, we're playing Andre from the Motherland. Or Andri, as we say. Okay, Karkon Defense. Pretty straightforward so far. Nothing complicated going on here. Takes with the queen. Okay. You either go e6 or knight c6. Either try to prevent prevent the check, or I could just get the knight out to f6 as well. I think knight f6 is probably more reasonable here. Decides to give me a pawn. Uh, it's not actually a free pawn. Hmm. Thinking about just supporting this with e6. Not really sure what the play here is. There's also queen a5 check. But that just gets blocked in with the bishop pretty easily and it gives him a developing move. I don't know why, but for some reason I really want to just go e6. Part of me wants to just take it too, because I believe that I believe that hangs a pawn if he recaptures with the bishop. And then yeah, it's not quite check. He loses his D pawn here though. Oh, uh, I'm losing this pawn. And I always fall for this. I always fall for this pawn. Oh, I'm really surprised he didn't go for that. That's actually really good for me. Um, I can either take this pawn. I don't quite want to lose this pawn. I feel like I have to protect it. Um, <clears throat> I kind of want to just go knight c6. <clears throat> There's some ideas here. I feel like taking this pawn is a bit of a trap. Yeah, I need to be really mindful of this here. Or if I just go queen c7. No, I can't really go queen c7 because then I'm just losing this pawn either way and it's kind of just a waste of moves. A lot of ideas here. It's a very valuable pawn. Only because the rook gets trapped if I don't protect it. Yeah, so I'm really debating between like queen, queen c7 and knight c6 here. Those are the two moves I'm really going back and forth on here. I think I'm just going to go knight c6. I don't know why, but for some reason just defending this pawn just seems much more valuable right now. And honestly, if he pushes up d5, I'm actually fine to just initiate the queen, tra uh, que queen trade here and trade the knight off and get it out to d5. Because I can always support it with e6 later, like on the next move. I think at this point... Do I want to take the pawn? I don't really want to go for that check. I don't really want to... 
Hmm. I can attack his queen. It'll force his queen onto a different square that's not attacking b7 here. So I kind of want to go for that. And then I have the potential for the fork here. Next move, if I go uh, knight d4. It's a bit of a risk. I don't want to stack the pawns here. <clears throat> that's what I'm trying to avoid. Actually, what if I take... What if I initiate the trade? He goes queen e4. I take queen d4. His queen takes. I get my knight out to d4. I think I'm winning a pawn that way, right? Yeah, I'm going to try it. I believe this wins a pawn. If I'm not mistaken. It's okay. Maybe I calculated this wrong. I don't know. But I guess we'll find out. If he doesn't trade, let's check. I can always support with the uh, bishop here. Either way, I want to get my knight out to d4 so I can look for this fork. I'm really glad I played knight c6. I feel like just defending this really simple b7 pawn was important and valuable for some reason. Yeah, knight c2 would be a really deadly move here. I know I'm breaking every single principle by moving the pieces around multiple times in the opening, but I just felt like I had to respond to the moves that he was playing. I think he was playing sort of an unconventional response to the Karo Khan. Which move was unconventional? He moves his queen back, which is really interesting. I could try to push the pawn up and then no I can't look for the queen fork never mind um I mean I guess I could could continue to harass his queen but I think it's too aggressive and too early um castling Queen side is really interesting because it puts the rook out on the open file. I think I have to go e6 and look for the check. That would just be mate. If I can go bishop b4, he would have to he'd be forced to block in with the bishop, and then my queen would be set up for mate here on d2. I think his best bet is just to play something like bishop e2 and castle. Just my opinion. But either way, I'll have the check here. Hmm. I don't know. I think he should have went for the queen trade, personally. Seems like a very passive move. I think this check... And then where does he go? Let me see how he can respond to this check. I mean, he can bring his queen in to block. That's obviously not going to work. He can't move his king. He could potentially go here, but that's really bad. I think I'm just going to go for this check here. If he blocks him with the bishop, it's mate. I think he's almost forced to block in with the queen here. Or move his king into a really uncomfortable square. If 
he blocks him with the bishop, it's mate. He should have taken the queen trade. He goes for that. Hmm. Hmm. There's almost mate here. <clears throat> Man, castle and queenside. I've never been more tempted. <laughs> uh, if I check here, I'm just losing a pawn, so I don't really want to. I want to castle queenside so I can win his queen and get my rook out to the open file here. I think it'd be pretty funny. But then I'm losing this f7 pawn, which is pretty valuable. I don't want to lose this pawn. I could bring the knight in to support. But man, just getting this rook out here for some reason, I don't know why, it just seems so funny. I could push this pawn. I think we're just going to bring the rook out to d8 and try to support this push here. Yeah, because I have the check on d1 here now. And I can go like c5 check. It's just going to force this king to like run all over the board. Hmm. What am I really gaining by d1 check, though? I'm protecting these squares. I guess as soon as he moves, I can initiate the queen trade. And then that would just give him a really bad position. Very funny game so far. I think it's actually a pretty good move. I could play a more forcing move and get my knight out here. Only thing I don't like about it is that it exposes the pawn. But, hmm. Honestly, could just block this in. Oh, here's check here. I think I just have to play it, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can just get his pieces to run around at this point. I can support. Yeah, if, so if he moves down, I can check with the rook. Uh, oh no, I can't do that because the bishop will be protecting d3 here. Uh, I could almost do that. That would have been kind of funny. But yeah, I do have the check here again, though. I don't really want to... I have a check here. I do have a... No, I have this check and then I could win the rook, but I don't want to go that way. I could just trade queens off at this point. I'm actually just going to go for the queen trade. And just kind of simplify my life here.
I almost got his queen with the rook. Almost. But let's see if there's a more damning move we can do here. Um, let's see. E5 is protected. <laughs> E5 is protected by the knight. I'm not going to have, like, too much place to run after I go queen e5. Hmm. I could continue to block him off here. I do like the rook check here, though. That's pretty funny. Yeah, the rook check here is really funny. It gets my rook out of harm's way, too. <laughs> uh, do I go for it? Or do I just take the queen trade? I'm going to go for it. Uh, man, I really don't want to go for it. It gets the rook out of harm's way. I think I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> this setup is pretty crazy here now, so I technically could just win his rook here. Um, I also could... No, I can't do that. Um... Free Rook. Wouldn't it be crazy if I got mated here? I'm going to eat those words. This is a very interesting game so far. Probably bishop d6 next. I think he's just going to move... Um, <clears throat> I think he's just... Well, no. If he moves his bishop, he loses the, the rook there. Um, okay. Oh, I have a check, discover check here. Uh, where do I want to go here? I want to get my queen back into the action here. There's a check here. Yeah, I've done my queen a bit of a disservice by blocking it in with the rook here. Kind of unfortunate. I could probably castle at this point. <clears throat> Getting another queen would be pretty funny too. And I could continuously go for that check. Hmm. Yeah, getting another queen would be something, huh? I want to move my rook back. I kind of don't want to lose this pawn. I don't know. If he takes, it's fine. Because I just take the rook here.
Why don't we just castle him? It's a bit of a blunder, if I'm being honest. Okay. I could almost, I probably just want to start trading everything off. I could almost uh, pin his queen here if I can support. Oh, I need to be really careful of mate here, actually. Uh, shoot, did I just blunder that? <laughs> actually, no, I do have the rook here, so. Could go attack his queen. Actually, going this way would be really funny. Oh, right. Royal Fork. Oh boy, what a game, what a game. <laughs> what a game. Let me do like the five second review on this one. I'm really curious like where it went wrong for him. Not even so much like where it went. Oh man, I had Maiden 2 here. Oh, no way, I had Maiden 2. Oh wow. Yeah, I wouldn't have seen that. Wouldn't have seen that. I personally like how it played out. <laughs> it was more or less exciting. Yeah, honestly, probably blocking the the queen in this way with the uh, rook d4 was probably a bad idea because it really stopped my queen from harassing um, sort of these squares here. So, yeah, taking was a bit of a mistake there. I was trying to find some other discovered um, attack here, besides just moving back. Just going this way. Hmm. E5. I don't know why E5 was good. Oh, because it forces him down that way. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay. Cool. Well, Andri. Thanks for the game. GG, man. Sorry I had to go down this way. But uh, let me see. I was really curious about this here. Yeah, you know, I think he would have had a really big advantage if he would have taken this b7 pawn. So I kind of blundered when I took c4 here because it exposed b7. And getting the queen out here would have been really deadly because I believe it uh sort of loses a knight um if not a rook so he would have had a big advantage there so this is kind of a a caro trap that i always kind of forget about is this lowly b7 pawn here but anyways andre thanks for the game thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one